All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is another day where we're gonna spend looking for snakes. I'm gonna go down to the rocks and start searching for any animals and hopefully we can find some snakes. I know it's not a snake, but just out there is a great blue heron hunting in the wetlands right now. So this is what I was talking about. All of these rocks make for perfect habitat for snakes. So let's start flipping. Let's check out this rock. Oh, check that out. Snake right there. Check that out. A nice northern ringneck snake. All right, so this is the northern ringneck snake, and they get the name from the little ring right below their head. These are probably one of the gentlest snakes we have in the state, but they are by far no means the most endangered or the most threatened. This is quite a common species we have here, except that they're very elusive, mostly because a lot of people walk this path. A lot of the forest where I live is very uh, populated by people, so these snakes have to go further out into untouched forests. And they are very unprone. They don't want to bite you at all. I can like boop its little nose and it just won't bite me at all. These snakes would never want to bite. Their first line of defense is to curl up and try and act all tough. And then if that doesn't work, the second defense is to start musking. And musking is what comes out of their um, rear end almost. And it's a, a foul smelling odor. And it just smells disgusting. It actually musked on me a little bit when I first caught it. But now, see, look, it's just perfectly calm. And it's like a perfect snake if you want your kids to handle because they will never bite you. It's just completely harmless. This locality has actually a nice gray on the top and a nice little orange color. I know in different regions of the USA, there's actually yellow, the underbelly is yellow almost. And that's like really cool too. Now what these snakes eat ranges from, I like to say small invertebrates. But since these guys live under rocks and under logs, we'll just prey on smaller animals like earthworms, uh, millipedes, um, maybe not millipedes. They will probably eat isopods, maybe a cricket if they can catch it, and then yeah, maybe a frog if they can catch that too. Another thing this probably eats are the salamanders, the redback salamanders. Those guys are probably another primary prey item. It's probably living here because the ground is so moist that a lot of earthworms live here. I've seen like really big night crawlers. So that's probably how this guy got so big. This is a definitely a large one. This is my lifer ringneck snake. I got a smaller one in the fall a couple years ago, but that was kind of small. This is definitely a bigger one. Now, like most snake species we have in Massachusetts, most of them are non-venomous. And the only two that are venomous we have in the state are endangered, and that is the timber rattlesnake and the northern copperhead. And how you can tell is non-venomous, if you look at its head, it has rounded pupils. If it was venomous, it, had, it would have um, slits for the pupils. And that is one way you can tell it's a non-venomous versus a venomous snake. Now, if you look at the snake, it has a little tongue that comes out and pulls it back in. That is, it's, it's basically tasting the environment around it. So right now, it probably knows that it's being handled by a larger animal. And it's pulling that scent back into its mouth. And there's an organ called the Jacobson's organ in the back of its mouth and it pulls it in it pulls all the scent into there and then it tells it can tell what is happening around its environment so it's tasting the air right now it's tasting me and that's pretty unique I actually love how snakes do that now what would eat this snake probably goes from small predatory birds to even bullfrogs can eat a snake like this mostly because it's not even full grown but even full grown they probably won't stand a chance against a bullfrog these guys can go up to 18, grow up to 18 inches. This is probably close, but it's definitely, it can grow a little bit more. All right, that's all I gotta say about this little ringneck snake. And just remember, if I can find something like this ringneck snake, imagine what you can find near you. All right, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.